Pharmacology research is so important because it helps us understand what patients respond best to what medicines under which condition. It helps us think about how we can design new treatments or evaluate old treatments for new purposes and improve child health outcomes and outcomes for patients across the country. If you want to get an interdisciplinary, collaborative teaching, research, training experience, Winnipeg is the place to come. The Department of Pharmacology and Therapeutics is probably one of the best departments to come to because you're going to get the whole package. Every single one of our students is successful, become very well tooled, and they go on to great things. So in the Department of Pharmacology and Therapeutics, we have undergraduate students, graduate students, and professional students as well. So I offer teaching in the College of Dentistry, in the Pharmacy, in the PharmD programs, as well as for medical students and residents. In the Clinical Pharmacology Lab at the University of Manitoba, we study drug safety. And so what that means is we use different kinds of data, so administrative data, clinical data, patient and family values, to design clinical studies, whether that's a meta-analysis or a clinical trial, to investigate how drugs work and if they can be used safely. I am a mother and I'm highly motivated to be involved in research that aims to improve infants, children's and maternal health. With extensive experience in clinical trials and pharmacology, I'll be able to help society by contributing to medical research to advance scientific knowledge of safe and effective treatments for women and children. So this department, I view, is a central cog to uh, improving quality of life in patients from all types of disease standpoints, whether it's cancer or neurological diseases, uh, diabetes, cardiovascular diseases, pharmacology, therapeutics is the linchpin department for this type of translational research. The quality of research is very high here uh, and that is thanks to the incredible level of research scientists that we've been able to recruit. So those are the, the advisors that the students would be coming to work with. When I was first entering the department, I had a lot of support. I had support to take whatever courses I was interested in, so there's a lot of flexibility in the course selections, which is a, a bit unique to this department. Our professors encourage us to go to international conferences so that we can meet different students and professors from all around the world. We also get the opportunity to publish in international journals that have high impact factor. Our professors are really accessible, so if you have a question, you can go to them and have your answer. So for example, when I teach, antidepressants um, in class. We, we do a little bit of lecturing on what antidepressants are, but then we study research papers. We look at drug development and what the latest trends are. So they really get a view to what it's like to understand research and development in antidepressants and not just what they are. Everything from neuropharmacology to cardiovascular to cancer to finding wherever you want to fit in this department is, is really uh, important as a new student coming in and I think once you find your place um, there's a lot of people who are willing to help you and collaborate with you and and really make sure that your research is the best that it can be. We have uh, very good success rates at uh, national grant funding, studentship funding, fellowship funding, uh, probably one of the most successful departments on a per researcher basis. The amount of available funding and the opportunities that you get after you complete your PhD these are the major factors that motivated to come here at the University of Manitoba, and so far I'm really glad about it. Professionalism is a key value of all health profession programs across the Rady Faculty of Health Sciences. We are committed to providing an environment free of discrimination, harassment, and learner mistreatment. All members of our diverse community share responsibility for maintaining a positive learning environment. I grew up in Winnipeg. I love Winnipeg. Uh, there's so much to do and so much diversity in our four seasons. Myself, I love winter, and I love to do a lot um, outdoors, enjoying the snow, enjoying the river trails, enjoying ice skating, snowmobiling, ice fishing. There's just so much that you can experience. There's a lot in Winnipeg, a lot to offer. There's culture, there's education, there's academics, there's opportunities to travel, um, there's innovation. It's a really vibrant city. The sky's the limit. Uh, I've seen students going into biomedical research, go into faculty positions, they go into non-academic uh, positions, they go into business, they go into industry. Our job is to train you and tool you for careers of the future, whatever they may be.